Hi everybody, I'm going to do some tests here on motorcycle clothing to see how their heat transfer or conductivity of heat, thermal conductivity, uh, how well it works or not. Uh, as you can see, I've got a infrared thermometer. Let's look at the temperature of the cardboard. Interesting. Temperature yeah, uh, so what I have is four layers from an Aldi textile suit and um, they do boast a high abrasion resistance but uh, does it burn? That's the whole point really. Does it burn? Anyway, see how hot they... I also have an iron this is at 223 degrees. So let's try that first for a few seconds. See what happens. There's some weight to it. Give it one, two, three, four, five. And temperature underneath. Sixty degrees. So did warm that up, but the inner layer of polyester actually did not deteriorate. Not bad, not bad. So let's see what we have left after the test. This is the uh, PTFE. This is waterproof, windproof membrane. It's still sort of intact. This is the outer layer, and it kind of melted. Then this is what they call APT Tech, sort of a knit looped material. Now this stayed intact, so I believe this protected. And then the polyester, what we call comfort liner, is completely intact. So this seems to be the trick. Obviously traps a lot of air, which is very beneficial. So let's put them back together again in the order they are in the suit from outer to inner. Now I'm going to give it a harder test, which is a, let's see, this, as you can see, will burn the crap out of you very quickly. I believe this is set at uh, 450 degrees centigrade. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, unfortunately, it goes right through everything. Let's check the temperature there of the cardboard. 76 degrees. Seventy six degrees on the cardboard and it did burn through in about five seconds. However, would you really get a temperature of four hundred and fifty degrees? That's what the I got this iron which will melt metal. Let's see what happened here. Well, we went through that. We went through the PTFE. Interestingly, this outer nylon melted to this, but didn't actually go through here. But that's a severe test. I did some tests on my motorcycle, I'll probably add them, but the exhaust pipe, which is what people are afraid of coming into contact in a crash, um, I found areas that were 70 degrees, maybe 200 degrees centigrade, 
in extremely unexposed areas, like under the engine. But anywhere your leg might touch was never really more than about 70 degrees centigrade. So applying 450 to this, that will melt metal anyway, so it's kind of unrealistic. So to say that failed is um, somewhat extreme situation. This is competition grade leather, it's roughly 1.4 to 1.6. However, in the arm here, these are the crash zones, slide zones. This leather suit has two layers of leather sewn in. You can't really see it, but uh, if you sort of look through the lining, there are two layers of leather plus some sort of soft foam. In addition, you would have crash protection here. But in the arms and shoulders, you've got double leather. So I'm not even I'm not even testing double leather. I'm just testing five seconds of single piece leather. Let's try it again. Let's test them. Cardboard before it's showing quite hot, 36 degrees. It's a warm day. Surface of the leather. About the same. Let's see that. 35. 35. Now the iron, let's see, is it still hot? Yeah, I would say that's freaking hot. One, two, three, four, five. This little burn spot there. 41. I can touch it. Not burned. I can touch the back of the leather. Touching the back of the leather. Warm. But not to the point of burning me. See? No burn. 450 degrees. And leather seems to laugh it off. Okay. Now this is called Kovac. It's a super fiber. But I don't think it's going to do as well as leather. Let's give it five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Well, not great. 88 degrees. We got burned. It's cooling down, but let's see what happens. Inspect it. So we're going to temper rating on that. This is cotton. It's quite scorched. So it's two layers of cotton. It went right through. And uh, it's kind of destroyed it. Now, this is supposed to be made of something called liquid crystal polymer, LC polymer. I suppose it's in the family of polyesters, but not to be confused with standard polyester. And I would say for textiles of any kind, aramids. Uh, super fibers, we call them. Aramids, Kovac, liquid crystal, polymer. This is an extreme test. <laughs> like I said, uh, let's see. I got this iron set on 450. I don't think there's anything that hot on your motorbike, except maybe the, more, the manifold of the exhaust, which is rarely in contact with you, but that's kind of devastating.